Hello everyone! Filming this at midnight, so using setting spray, spray the hair, and just gonna go ahead to put the Estee Lauder uh, foundation and smack it all over the face, and smack, 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 smack with a makeup sponge, and um, just spread it all over the face because this is stage makeup and you shouldn't care how much foundation you use. Yeah. So. Once you're done with that, use tissue paper to remove the excess. Trust me, that makes the makeup stay a lot longer. You could go swimming with this after that and you'll be fine. And then put concealer everywhere because apparently I need concealer on my whole face. And use the same sponge, the disposable makeup sponge, to just spread it all out. Yep. And just keep doing that until you're happy. About there. Almost done on your neck and using a setting powder so this is the RCMA no color powder this is the best powder I've used like after this my face is just matte and I could go swimming with it and it, nothing moves so this is awesome or you could use any other face powder to just set all of that liquid um, on your face and now I'm just doing the brows and you're just gonna draw 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 um, you could use your eyebrow pencil as well but I thought I would just use um, the powder for now with my dry contact lenses and just going ahead to do the other eye and now going on to the Naked 2 palette just using the super black black to just make the brows darker. Great. Use a spoolie. Yay. Alright, now for eye primer using the Smashbox eye primer. And just using your fingers, tap it all over your face. And now using the Naked 2's gold to just put it on the first half of the eye. And going all the way up to near the eyebrow. Yeah, so just doing that. And now going on to taking a brown and putting on the outer third of the eye. It doesn't have to be neat um, as long as when you open your eyes and look straight, you can still kind of see it. So just go ahead, make a mess. Now use a dirty brush. Alright, oh, a clean brush to just um, blend it so it's not too harsh on the lines. And then using one more brush to just add the black. So all together we're just using three brushes. So one for brown, one for black, and one to blend. So yeah, same thing. It doesn't have to be that crazy neat, don't worry. And just to intensify the black, you could use water, but here I'm using setting spray just to intensify it a little bit to make it darker. So after I feel like I'm happy with this, I am just going ahead to put on eyeliner. So I put a thin one, thin layer on top and just putting it on my waterline as well because I feel like um, it makes the eye a little bit more booms, you know. So I like to do that and now I'm using the glitter primer but uh, we could also use the gel, the glitter gel liner to put the, the loose glitter on top. So just so to make it stay so that it doesn't drop along the way. So just using a brush and putting all over and making sure that when you open your eyes, you can still see the glitter. And just go ahead to do it in the transition between the black and the glitter. Now using a white, highlight the brown bone, brown bone, brow bone, and uh, the corner of the eye. And just adding black to the outer two thirds of the lower eye. Um, just to make sure that the eyes can definitely be seen from afar. Let me just remember this is stage makeup, not everyday makeup. So yeah, now using adding mascara first before we add in the lashes. These lashes, um, I prefer the thin band ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pluck off all the glue. Pluck 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 pluck. And then I am cutting out the corners as well. And then oops, too much glue. Cutting it into two. Because I feel like it stays better for my eye. And then just putting it 
on the two thirds of my eye for the first part. I don't usually wait for the glue to dry. I just put it on because I feel like um, uh, it stays on better for me that way instead of it being tacky because I cannot shift it after. And then the second part, I am putting on the outer third of the eye. Now for my eyes, I don't usually put at the front because it doesn't quite stay. But feel free to do that if your eyes are good with that. So once I'm done, I'm just using my fingers to kind of like press it together, together with my natural lashes, just so that, you know, it kind of looks more together. And I'm using the eyelash color to just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and curl the lashes up to make it look bigger. And going in with eyeliner one more time, just to intensify it a little bit. Great, now going for a contour and making that duck face and oof, okay. Back. All right. Going for the duck face, going from making a three from the top of the ear to the mouth. So you gotta make a three like a forehead and then your cheekbones and then your jawline. So make a three. Oh, I left out the other eye because uh, feeling tired. Adding blush now. Just contouring the nose. I would do a little bit more than what I am doing now actually. So yeah. And then just highlighting. Because I'm not white enough. So I need to make everything brighter. Now adding the lipstick. I typically use a cotton bud just to line it out. You could also use a lip brush but I feel like I can just throw the cotton bud away. So yeah, I usually line it and I usually overline especially my lower lip because from far, I want my lips to still be seen, you know? Otherwise, it'll look kind of small. So after I'm done the first round, going in the second round and just blending in together but we don't have time, just use it straight from the lipstick and just getting rid of the excess. And now going to the hair. My hair is pretty easy, I'm gonna wet my hair and it is drenched. Not not really, like kinda wet. Using a big brush just to brush it all out. And then using a red tail comb from the top of the left eyebrow, going over to the right, and now taking the gel and just put a lot of it on your palm and just straighten it all the way. So kinda make sure that that line there is really, really neat. And then just randomly tie with a rubber band first, don't worry. And then just comb it back towards the rubber band because we can still shift it afterwards. So don't worry too much. And just keep combing until you feel like you are really happy with what you're seeing and what you're feeling. And then tie the actual rubber band. And you're still able to use the comb to adjust your fringe to how you want it. And now it's just hairspray. And spray and spray and spray until you're happy. And that's about it actually. Use a hairdryer and you're done. Bye!